the I Feel Like Laughing Show. I'm your host, Kevin K. Mac McCarthy, and in this 20 minutes, we will explore the internet's most insane, crazy, gross, disgusting videos that they have to offer. Um, I realize in the last videos now that I, I was influenced by Mystery Science Theater 3000, you know, where they watch the movies and they talk over the movie while it's playing, you know, and I wanted to create that with my videos and I realized I'm not able to do that because you guys can't hear what the hell's going on in the video if I'm just talking over it the whole time. So I apologize. I'm an idiot. I don't know, you know, just just trying it out. I apologize. All right, it will never be like that again. We're going, you know, we're going places now. We really now that we now that I have figured out how to successfully make a video that some people might want to watch, let's get into it because we got a really huge start off. I haven't seen this one yet. I'm, I'm really excited about it right off the bat right now. You know, why not start off the bang by playing your hit song? You know, it's like Juice World comes out, he's gonna play Lucid Dreams first. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Cause this video is called Shake My Head, SMH. Man accused of double murder live streams police chase via Facebook. Now, come on, that's, I mean, can't get any better than that. We're going to live stream a police chase right now where you're going to jail for the rest of your life. This is wild, you know, just think about the, uh, what's on the line right now. This is the last time this guy is going to feel air, like be free in the world for the rest of his life for the rest of his life, you know, unless he's innocent and proven, until proven guilty. I'm sorry, I take that back. Innocent until proven guilty. So he's actually, you know, could very well be out soon, but this is a huge, you know, this is crazy to uh, live stream a police chase on Facebook, of all things. You didn't even do Instagram, which is a, it's an inter interesting choice. I don't know. Um, if I were to go, I feel like Instagram would have been a place to be, but anyways, uh, yeah, this is crazy that he actually live streamed this police chase, um, you know, impressive. If, I guess if you're going to go out, if you are going to go to jail for the rest of your life, go out with a bang. Dude, why not? Fuck it. At this point, you're going down for a double murder or there's a possibility. You know, I'm pretty sure you can uh, throw it all out the window. You better complete your bucket list right then and all those things, you know. I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, saying he has a case of the fuck it would be an understatement uh, if he's live streaming a police chase on Facebook. So let's check it out now. First time I'm watching it too. Let's enjoy it together. Here we go. Cops on me. I got the f***ing cops on me, n***a. Chrissy, I love you. I'm about to let these can have it. Oh my god! He 
left us with a cliffhanger. That was the best, um, whatever. You know, you know, Fast and the Furious, Baker's Dozen, whatever they're on. Um, you know, or Mission Impossible. That's up to the fucking, what, six, seven, and eight? I don't know. Maybe not that high, but that is better than all of those right there. That was like a minute and 52 second movie. You want to make a movie? That's a real life movie right there. You can't get much better than that, dude. It had, you know, the build up. You know, he's chased, you just hear the sirens, his build up, I got the cops on me. Then you got the excitement, the I don't give a fuck, you know how we do, blah, blah, blah. And then you got the raw emotion, you know, where the tears, the waterworks come, you know, that's the part of the movie. It's the build up, there's the problem, there's all that. And then, you know, there's that emotional scene that sets up for the ending. So he said, you know, I love you, saying, he loves you to all his relatives and everything that's like saying goodbye you know not goodbye forever in any way but you know I might be going away for a while type goodbyes and so it was real emotional and then he leaves you with the cliffhanger ending you know where you just hear the seatbelt ding you don't know if the cops are in front of him or behind him seems like they're trying to skid in front of him and he's like downshifting and trying to go around them and you you don't see what's going on that's most of it like you want to know what's going on outside right now you wish you could see that and uh you just see it through his eyes you know the truth in his eye you know that was not faked at all that you could see the truth in his eyes you could see the half fear half i don't give a fuck type thing you know like he kind of doesn't give a fuck because he's live streaming it but he still knows the reality of the situation. He's not dumb, so you could see that in his eyes. And when he put that seatbelt off and that dinged, and you know, he's like, seatbelt off, I love y'all, and cuts it off on a cliffhanger ending. Wow, bro. If they could let that dude direct movies from his jail cell, I think we might got the next James Cameron. Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. I'm not gonna say Quentin Tarantino because I think his he, he could have more, you know, story arc and you know more drama and pulling on your heartstrings and everything than Tarantino even has already. He's already up there. That guy, that kid. At least if he's going to jail, at least give him like an Oscar for best short film. <laughs> Can he get that best short film uh, reality or something? At least throw him an Oscar to, you know, boost his self-esteem and everything. I know you need that, uh, that boost in your mood and everything in jail. That could really... You know, make you feel good while you're in there for a while and you know you know you accomplished something you left your mark on society and you know show all your friends that and they know it and you remember it and I think regardless though he did that this is I mean he got it out the world star and I mean this is everyone needs that's a that's a movie right there I feel like if Denzel watches this, you know, Denzel might be playing him next week. And you know the movie will come out by August, at least. Denzel in High Speed Car Chase. You know, he's played the train conductor guy. Well, so it's, um, I remember I, I saw this on a website and I went through it. He's done a train, he's done like a car, or he did a subway. Uh, you know, he's done all sorts of crashing and high-speed chase type yeah. shit. If, if Denzel watches this, that's another thing you can always remember from jail and everything. Uh, Denzel played you in your own, like, biopic of that car chase. Oh, that's got a great build-up. It's the same way though all the movies build up. You get on in the beginning, you're happy. You know, you don't give a fuck, you're partying, everyone's... That's the happy scenes, and then it's... 
the emotional scene, something you reality sets in, you're sad, you're just telling everyone goodbye, and then you know the the dramatic ending, the show off, takes off the seatbelt, dings, seatbelt off. I, look. I just want to know, did there's no way you think like he slowed down and tried to run from that? Actually, yeah, he probably tried to run from that. That's wild. Man. I don't know. I'm cheering for him, you know. I always cheer for the bad guy in movies. I feel like we, a lot of us do that. Or maybe, was it just me? Am I messed up? I don't know. I wondered if I was messed up. But I did, really. You always wanted the bad guys. You know, the drug dealers, the all those. You wanted Scarface to win in the end. Who wanted? Who didn't want Scarface to shoot everyone who invaded his mansion and win that? You know, who didn't? You know? So, uh, you know, and Goodfellas, who didn't want Henry Hill, everyone to live happily ever after and never mess up? You know, how oh, cool would that be if the Mafia is still running strong and... Uh, Still seeing, stealing fur coats and shit off the street in New York. That'd be awesome. But I don't even know what I was talking about. We got off tangent. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm cheering for this guy. I'm rooting for this guy, I think is the point. So hopefully he did get away. I hope he did run. I hope he got away. And if not, you know, hopefully this, from this, this guy gets a lot of, like, mail and letters. I know letters are huge in jail. From, um... You know, just a friend of mine told me, uh, I, I know, you know, getting letters and everything is huge. I think this guy just made himself a star. He's at least got one season of NYPD Blue and he gets out. You know, I, anyone. I think they're hiring anyone. So, that's enough, you know. You don't even need to hand him a resume. You're just like, oh, go to YouTube or whatever. Search for man accused of double murder goes high speed car chase. I'm like, all right, that's weird. And I watch it, brought to tears. You're signed to a multi-year, 10 movie contract. That's how I feel about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching that one. Let's move on to the next video. Tough to beat though, but you know, we gotta try to do it.